I learned who Miss Lemons really is. Coming up with lots of deadlines. It helps me save so much time. Bramley has a- All right, it's been a while since I've played anything new. Ah! Wait, hang on a second. Where am I? You are in school. Yeah! Shh, use your inside voice. Are you some kind of talking lemon? Respect your teachers, young man. My teachers? Of course. You're here to learn. I don't understand. I should have just stuck to Minecraft. Evil lemons never hold you hostage against your will there. Quiet, human. Oh, God! Demon fruit! Demon fruit! I hope you studied. Today is your final exam. There is only one question. How did this happen? How should I know, lady? I just got here. I will give you one hint. How did this happen? I was like you once, a human, but more importantly, a student, the best and the brightest of my school, my town, maybe even the world. All I ever wanted was to succeed, but I could only push myself for so long. <sighs> Balance is important. You can only succeed if you are physically able. I made a grave mistake that day, a life-changing mistake. I stayed up all night studying for a big final. I hardly slept. And because I hardly slept, I fell asleep in the middle of the test. Huh? What? You know, sleeping during a test disqualifies you, right? I expected better from you. A straight A student slacking off in my class? <sighs> it's a shame, really. There goes that 4.0. An F. After all the hard work I put in. This woman had no right to judge me. I was smarter than her. I was smarter than everyone. Wait, Mrs. Smith, please let me make it up. I was up all night studying. And that's what they all say. I'm telling the truth. Just take the F, okay? It's nobody's fault but your own. I never expected what happened next. Something overcame me. A new personality took over, known as Luxia. How dare you? Uh, what do you think you're doing? I turned violent and attacked Mrs. Smith. And while I think she deserved it, it was not my best idea. And as mysteriously as it came, it was gone. And I was back to normal. And I realized what I'd done. What the? Uh, what did I do? I, I am so sorry. Uh, to the principal's office, now! After a visit from the school nurse and a meeting with the principal, it was determined that I have multiple personalities. I was not just myself. I had multiple people inside me. The one who had just come out was Luxia, a chaotic, violent personality I can't control. That's who attacked Mrs. Smith, and there might be more that I'd never even seen before. All we could do was hope it never happened again. I felt what I thought was anger welling up inside of me. I didn't know it at the time. Against the odds, I went back to my scholarly ways. I decided to throw myself into my work, to ignore how terrible my life had become. Maybe if I worked hard and proved myself, they would let me out of this prison, and I would learn how to make sure none of them showed up again. However, I could only hold back for so long. Hey, give that back! <laughs> Why would I, nerd? <sighs> I'd rather be a nerd than a delinquent failure in juvie with no future. Newsflash, loser! You're here too! You think I'm bad? You're just as much of a delinquent as I am. I felt what I thought was anger welling up inside of me. I didn't know it at the time, but it wasn't just anger. It was something else. You give me that book back right now or you are not gonna like what happens next. Really? I'd like to see you try. He can't say I didn't give him a fair warning. What the? What? What are you? <sighs> you, you stay away from me. See? You can have it back! I'm sorry, okay? J just get away from me! What are you doing? Let me go this instant! Let me go or you'll pay! In my anger, I accidentally let another personality take over. Lamia. Lamia is violent, psychotic, demonic. I somehow went back to normal just in time. What on earth was that? I'm... I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. And then, someone else took over. My sincerest apologies. He stole my textbook, impeding my studies. Which is understandable, since it seems he's never studied a day in his life. 
I lashed out in a moment of extreme stress, but I never did hurt him. You really have nothing to punish me for. In that moment, I met a new personality, Lorelei. She was surprisingly diplomatic, far less violent than the other two. Thank goodness for that. Well, all right then. I guess you're telling the truth, and I'd be lying if I said I hadn't noticed your phenomenal grades. Tell you what, if you continue to be on good behavior and keep up these scores, I'll see about getting you out of here early. Deal. I will not fail. Finally, a way out had presented itself. I promised not to screw it up, but I knew that if one of the others tried to take over, I could be done for. Thankfully, I got lucky. I I kept on my good grades and good behavior, and I managed to get out. After all my experience, I was determined to become a teacher, to mold the minds of the youth, and to make sure no one ever failed again. I educated only the best and brightest of students. Parents could send me their struggling children and I'd whip them into shape. The kids were terrified of me, of course, and rightfully so. They knew what could happen if they failed. What happened here? I don't know, I guess I didn't understand. You didn't understand? So you're saying it's my fault for not teaching you properly? I didn't say that! Really? Because everyone else here managed to do it right. You have failed me today. I didn't mean to! It doesn't matter if you meant to or not. You... 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 You are a failure! You are nothing! Ah! You are! You really must study harder. Otherwise, you will amount to nothing. No one will care about you, and you will die alone. Oh no. Oh no. This was the first time in years I'd lost control like that, and I paid the price. The parents caught wind of the incident and pulled their children from my class immediately. And of course, soon, the school found out. <gasps> They were right to fire me after that behavior, but that doesn't mean I had to like it. I left them a warning, but I never came back. I had to find a new job. Teaching was my only skill and I was running out of money fast, but I spotted an opportunity that sounded right up my alley. Experimental sounded very... me. So I attended. The house had a strange energy, who hosts a class in a kitchen, other than a cooking class? But I went in anyway. I was shocked at what I saw. What the... are you? Yes. Yes, I am. I... I I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, maybe it's best I, I leave and give you your privacy, or go get my head checked. I knew it had to be something taking over my head again. There's no way this could be real. I understand this is surprising, but if you don't mind, before you leave, could you feed me? Sure. Wrong! Wrong! You have failed. You are a failure. I am not a failure! I applaud your efforts, but I am in control of this system, and I can reset it however I'd like. I can change whatever I want. You cannot stop me. I tried to fight against him, but his words were true. Whatever this system was, he had total control. And once it reset, I was... What? What did you... What am I? Don't worry, Miss Lemons. This is a good thing. I've heard it's almost time for class. Why don't you make your way to your room? So once more, I ask you, how did this happen? And answer fast. You, well, uh, it started when you were really young, and, uh... Oh dear, it sounds like you cheated. Cheated? What did you tell me? That was a test, unfortunately. You failed. Uh -huh.